So we're out here on the peninsula part of Cartagena. But over there, we'll get our van eventually. That's the port. Man, so close, but so far away. And then over there at the base of the peninsula is like the old town. Well, we decided to walk around this lake right next to our building here. Should be our building in the back. I guess they keep deer in here. What you got? What you got? Peto. Peto. <laughs> you like it? Mmm. It's hot by the club. That, so it's like a rice drink, but it's hot in this hot, hot place. So Snow and Kurt have been shipping at the same time as us. We're both waiting for our vans and we're gonna go meet up and have a beer. Oh, what up Kurt? Good to see you, man. Sorry. This is our eighth country I think we've seen each other. We'll count it out. Whoa, look at this sweet place. They have these crazy stairs and a cat perched. I love that. Okay, Snow, so you know how to track a boat. Well, I've clearly been tracking ours for like a month. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Oh, I cannot relate. Okay. Yeah. All right. Rice. Shannon. Be on All right. Boat. That's all we said, right? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to see where it's at? I want to know. See, I got to know where my boat is. Alive, not... And let's scroll out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks like credit. No. Oh, it's in Panama. It's in Panama. <laughs> right, okay, wait. Hold on. Oh, it's going into port though. Okay. It's going in. Pick up our van already. Come Let's on. I thought it was track. supposed to pick up today. Wow. Here we go. Alright, so wait, that's a one day track. It's waiting. That's oh what's my it's waiting. Gosh. It's for one day, it's gonna move that far. Well, thanks for teaching us how to fish. Right. You've been waiting. International worldwide freaking shipping shortage. And you're having to wait in your turn to get in, into oh port. My God. I will send you all this link so you can yeah. Yeah. Just, like, watch what like, we've been doing for three freaking weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning! We're here in Cartagena, living the apartment life. So today's the first day it actually rained here. And of course it's the day that I decided to record us walking over to Sombrita's little spot. So now we're gonna go and grab a little bit of coffee from the guy on the road. They call it Tinto. It's got chamomile tea in it. It's super tasty, a little too sweet, but I, I really like it. Just we're pretty lucky we didn't have to pay more money for Sombrita to come into this place, but we do have to go up the service elevator or walk up the steps. Hola! Tiene un buen beso. Was that a good walk, Sombrita? So I'm not really able to go and do all the steps in the port because only one of us can go. So Danny is gonna go and do all that stuff. So the first thing that he has to do is go and get a COVID test to get into the port. Basically, I'm gonna hand you guys off to Danny. I'm gonna work here at, at the little apartment that we got with Graham and Sombrita. Julian! <laughs> So 
we're having a little bit of issues this afternoon? Yeah, you know, I got that COVID test. I'm back in here, but now they're giving us another bill where they had told us the price would be 500 here in Columbia split between us and the container buddy. But now they're saying, oh, 400 more than that. And so we're trying to figure out what's going on. But uh, yes, yeah, sounds like the van, the container is in Cartagena. Oh, fantastic. Because yeah, the, boat, the boat has already left mm -hmm. to Barranquilla. So the van is right over there. Wow, I knew I felt good today, but we have some extra charges. But our container buddy, you know, he's Argentinian and he's really fighting to get this charge removed. I'm not sure it's going to be possible because it sounds like if we stop, if we say we're not going to pay it, they're going to stop helping us. So before the van even got to the port, they said they we owe them $400, like a new thing. This, and we thought it was only gonna was going to be 500 so at first we were excited but then they said oh and then this 500 and now we're kind of like what is that 400 and so there's like some real miscommunication here both that 400 and 500 dollars will be split between us and our container buddy in the end I guess it will be 450 but we thought it was only going to be 250 so it's really only 200 more dollars but still, like, that's a lot of money, and we don't want to just give it up and say that's fine when they didn't quote us that originally. So, unfortunately, the shipping delay has gone up another day, and our apartment is only rented until tomorrow, and the next day they have someone coming, so we have to go and find a new place. And instead of going with the exorbitant rates on Airbnb, we're gonna go and try and find a place on our own in the neighborhood that Snow and Kroger are staying because it looks like a really good neighborhood too. Well, Danny's already been to this city and before he just found a place by talking to people at a restaurant. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna try and attempt. Wow, babe, look at you, you're an angel. Heck yeah, we went down there to that sweet neighborhood and we found a spot. Boom, no internet or nothing. And we're paying about half what we're paying here. And we have a sweet balcony on a little alley that's lively. And we're gonna be in a fun area. And it's pet friendly. And the details are down to the nines, you know. I'm talking about real clean place. I'm talking about the things work right, you know. And here, this thing has been freezing our food. So I don't recommend Airbnb if you're going to Cartagena. You want to go in person and just ask and get a spot that way. Yeah, if not that I was like rent one night somewhere and if you don't like it, just find another spot, but you should ask. And this ask. is like a pretty primo room we're talking about, $25 a night. Moving out time. Had to go for a second cup of coffee today from the street vendor. <laughs> but look at this place, it's looking so clean and nice. It was really great staying here to be able to get some programming and some video editing done and just chill with this nice view out here on the balcony. Man, sombrita. But we found a new place that's pet friendly. And now that's we. Great. Yeah, so we're putting all the gypsy treasures back in the gypsy bags. <laughs> and it'll be an exciting cab ride over <laughs> with a cat and a dog. And way too much stuff. The typical cab ride here is 10000 so that's about $2. Pretty bad. Pretty good. Yeah, for, for like a 10 minute ride too. $2 for 10 minute ride. So, Columbia's great. <laughs> How you doing, Emily? So hot. <laughs> Wow, so I'll show you guys our new place here. Hey, I'm so excited. Yeah. This is so nice. Yeah, we got a bathroom in there. Yeah, it's really clean. And AC, of course, critical. Ooh. But yeah, it's pretty cute. We got like a fridge over here and everything. But the best feature definitely is over here by Sombrita. 
Look at this balcony here. We got a sweet little chair over here. We got a lively street. The best neighborhood. Oh my gosh, it smells really, really good. It's making me hungry. Yeah, that might just be right down there. You get food right across there. So people have been asking us how much it costs to receive the container here in Colombia. And here it is. So these are Colombian pesos. This is the biggest note, 50,000. So each 50,000 is about $13. The exchange rate is 3,800 to one dollar. 20,000. This is a 20,000 piece of paper here. 10,000. It costs about 2 million pesos to receive the van here. That's going to be $577 per container, buddy. Big day. Got my hotel coffee and hopefully all the paperwork we'll need for the day. Getting everything sorted. I'm gonna head to the port. Emily's not allowed. You're only allowed one person per car. And so she'll be hanging with the animals, actually moving hotel rooms midday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll be in the port. First we unload the container. Woo, exciting, that's at 9 a.m. So about 40 more minutes, I gotta go soon. And then after that, I guess we go to the office of our like agent, Anna, and she's gonna tell us uh, when we can get the cars out of the port after that. So hopefully the whole process is done today and we have the van. At the port, you have to wear long pants, which is kind of rude in Cartagena, but we're ready for business. Okay, so now we just have to wait for the container to arrive. Apparently they sent the wrong container because there's another guy who went on the same boat with a car and he's gonna open his in a half an hour, but they brought his container first. So now we're just waiting on the container, pop it open, inspect, exciting. There it is, home sweet home. There it is, the container after a week and a half. Wow, that's it. Oh yeah, I recognize this one now. There's our seal, still intact. This thing, he said try to break it off. It's intact. Wow. See? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Todo igual. Oh yeah! Wow, so he's down there untying the front and then I guess we get to back out of this container. This is gonna be sick. The van looks good. I don't see any marks or anything on the outside. So I think it was like really securely in the container. It wasn't hitting the walls or anything. You know, it looks really good. Uh, so now we gotta do some more steps. I think uh, we gotta go wait for them to allow us to drive these out. Do a couple of check, check boxes and whatnot. 
and we might have to wait another three hours or so to get these out of the port. But apparently they just stay here and they're safe, there's cameras. So yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on. Hey, it's out of the container and everything's good inside. Oh, that looks good. Wow. <laughs> so incredible, but we are getting the vehicles today. There's that container we were in. Oh man, I can't believe it. So I gotta get this thing rolling. And then we got some more paperwork and some exit out of here, but we're almost home free. Okay, so I'm supposed to just turn on the van. I can get some AC for once today. I am a sweaty mess. Oh my gosh, and he said just make sure everything looks good. Oh, what the heck? There's an engine light on. No, just kidding, that was there before. <laughs> but yeah, everything looks good to me in here. To see right now. Oh yeah, the electrical is still off. So the first step would be these breakers. One connects to the alternator. See, that's that's turned on right now. That red light. So if I want to connect that to the back batteries, I hit that. This connects the batteries to everything else. So let's. Oh, we got lights. <laughs> Now let's connect the alternator. Don't explode, please. Great. Okay, now. This thing is on. Let's see what percent we're at. 77%. So the batteries are down to 77% after a week of just sitting in here. But everything is working well. Oh, it's just nice to have lights that work. Oh my god, you guys, I'm actually driving this vehicle the first time since Panama. We're right behind our container buddy, and we're gonna go through this exit security here. It already feels so much better to have my home here in South America. Insanity. I cannot believe it. I'm so stoked. Oh, but we do have like one more formality here. And then I'm gonna be beyond stoked. Whoa, to fill up the gas tank, which was completely empty, we got 22 gallons. That's at less than $50 here. Heck yeah, Columbia. Emily! Hi! Welcome Hello. to the van! Hello. Oh, Sombrita's excited! Babe, as soon as she saw the van, she darted. It was no so way. Cute. Are you happy? Yes. Are you a happy girl? Oh you were in the home. She's stoked about it, yeah, huh? I'm home, baby. <laughs> I'm stoked. Wow, I missed it so much. Isn't this crazy? Oh, I feel so good to be home. Welcome home, babe. Yay, babe. Missed you, Alpa. We did it. We're in Colombia, South have... America, with our van. You have to tell me all the stories about how it was today. <laughs> oh, it was a lot of sweating. I was looking at every text message you sent me, and they were like waiting for, waiting for, waiting oh my for. God. So yeah, let's get this van in a safe place for the night and get me some dinner. In light of not being able to get the insurance for our van, we decided to stick around here until the Monday so we could get that paperwork. But it's hot, so we found another place to stay, which means we get to move again. <laughs> we'll stay there three nights, two nights or something, and uh, be able to live in the van again. Sombrita, are you excited? Welcome back to the van, Graham. Sombrita's happy. She jumped right in the van. We didn't even say sube and she just jumped right in. We're back in the van. It feels so good. Ready for our first drive? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. We got the whole family here. 
Traffic is fine as long as we can have the air conditioner on. Temperature on the VIN, it says 98 degrees. And I think, I believe it today. I think it might even be hotter than that. I think it hasn't really been that hot compared to normal here. Now it's like definitely a hot day. It's a hot day. And of course it's the day that we have to decide if we want to stay in the van or in a hotel. <laughs> Crazy, crazy driving here in Colombia. Yeah. Cartagena. Good morning. Yeah. So this morning we're gonna go and put the solar panels back on the roof. It's time to get the van ready to start moving around again. I'm stoked. Yeah, I think it'll be easy, but ooh, fingers crossed. Well, we got the panels up on the roof. This is pretty interesting because it's a super busy street and there's a lot of people walking by thinking that we're crazy, which is pretty fun. Here are the pieces that slide into the mounts here. It's a pretty sweet system, so you don't have to drill into your van. So we gotta get all these four prepared and then we can jump it in and start bolting up. Now we just have to bolt them up. size wrench for that when we were in Mexico installing the back van. And now I'm just going around and tightening them all up to as tight as they can be. They're all pretty much tight. Then we just got to plug in the solar panels and get the surfboard up here. But here comes the moment of truth down in here. Let me see if uh, I can turn on the solar and if it works. So it's just this switch right here. Don't explode please. So we flip the switch now we should see here this light turn on means the solar panels are working yeah it looks like nothing's oh okay the light turned on babe we're getting eight amps just like that Woo, so the solar panels work and honestly i feel like it wasn't that bad taking that off if that's what you need to do to get in a container no problem yeah <laughs> saves you about half price compared to the roll on roll off so and it's safer so I think container is definitely the way to go with the ProMaster. Yeah. Trenton Alley's was lifted. That's why it was so hard to get theirs in container. Ours was like easy. I didn't even have to take off the roof vent fan. And here's the confirmation from the app. We're seeing 115 watts coming in right now at a voltage of 15.8, uh, a current of 7.3. So it took almost an hour. Yeah, we got up nice and early to get that thing up. So we're leaving, huh? We're getting out of this hot, hot city. I'm gonna miss it though. The architecture here is really, really beautiful. Yeah, we've decided to take one last nice walk and this heat is stifling today. Yeah. This is how I've remembered Cartagena from coming a long time ago. Just probably the hottest place you've ever been, right? Yeah, I think it might be because I was, I was just standing talking to another resident at the hostel that we're staying and I was standing there and my shirt got completely soaked. I was so hot. Like that is extreme heat when you're standing and you're sweating so bad. I remember <laughs> one time being hotter when we flew through the Middle East. We had a layover oh my gosh, in yes. uh, Doha at night. Yeah. And it was crazy because we went out of the airport probably starting at 2 a.m. and it was like ridiculously it was, hot. It was 100 degrees at 2 a.m. I think it was more. I, yeah, it might have been like 110. <laughs> I didn't want to be exact. I didn't want to exaggerate, but I'm pretty sure it was like 110 at and, 2 a.m. And here the thermostat we have says it's 99. That might have changed over the day. And I've checked; it says around 100, or, uh, 80% humidity. Really? I feel like it's 110%. I know. I feel like I'm swimming. But anyway, we're gonna take one last walk and enjoy the city because <laughs> it's a really great place. <laughs> you guys gotta come here. You gotta it's, come here. It's perfect weather. <laughs>
so up here on the city wall there's a cool spot we saw tons of people chilling at the other night Taka bar. so they had live music you can watch the sunset over the city wall from up here so we thought maybe we'd come check it out if they let us go with the dog So today we're gonna be able to move out of our hotel and back into the van. Yes. I can't wait. I'm so excited to be back in the van. It's been a long time coming, but we finally have all of the paperwork to go back into the van. All right, guys, we're we're gonna end it here. We're in the van, and next video we're gonna start our first van adventure in Colombia. Feels good. We'll see you guys then. See ya.